hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome now please go ahead and subscribe to the channel go back and watch some of my older videos so that you can get caught up with pretty vicky and get to know me a little more all right and to my returning viewers and subscribers you don't know my loving already don't and i know so i love tall it update way up so if you're not subscribed yet what are you waiting on go and go ahead and subscribe and join the family so today guys for those who watched my last video my last vlog when i went to linstead this video is to give you an update as to the whole ncb saga that i was having anyway guys look who look like indian today I don't look like indian on the talk you got 11 throats my two big plat indian vibes anyway guys so i went to ncb today right because lord jesus i walk it man so a few weeks ago well apparently it was um the 30th 30th of april right i transferred five thousand dollars to my ncb account because me don't tell them to say me not keep money in my ncb account because me know ncb and all people have complained about ncb all the time so i say you know what to avoid problems me not keeping no money in my ncb account so I only use my NCB card to shop online, right? So, hey, me not like rain time and mango time, you know, because one fly the inner a fly around and me no want to go buy a, a big gun for you, know, worry yourself. Yeah, guys, so anyway, I transferred $5,000 to my account, right? And I uh, say, all right, I'm going to cash out something off of Amazon. Anyway, I, I did cash out the item. But then we go back and we cancel it the same day, same couple, like a couple minutes after we end up cancel the order, right? So normally, I don't know if it's all the time or it's just um, Amazon policy, whatever the case is, I'm not sure. But me know, me, from what I've experienced and what I know, I know that Amazon normally um, charge your card until the item is shipped. If, if I'm wrong, then comment in the comment section and let me know otherwise but that's what i know amazon don't normally charge a card until the item is shipped and as i said let me cancel the item the order like few minutes after ordering right so them not supposed to charge my card anyway what i ordered came up to three thousand something dollars right remember you know i transferred five thousand dollars and the items came up to three thousand mash mash right so i'm supposed to have at least one next one thousand whatever leave on the card Anyway, I end up canceling the order. When I check the card, $399 on it. That, the, that $399 was on it from way back when when I order things and leave that on it, right? So I know say I that up on it. So basically, I say, all right, then maybe Amazon charge me. So I say, all right, the fact that I cancel it, it probably soon come back on the card. So I've been there checking, 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 you know, come back. So I say, all right, then whatever. Me I go go and wait still. Last week, Friday, I transferred $25,000 again to my NCB account. Because you know that Alyssa's graduation is coming up and we need stuff for graduation. So I I'm I'm transferred $25,000 saying that, all right, I'm just going to cash out some things off of Amazon and Sheen for graduation, right? So... I end up not getting to cash them out. So I say, right, Monday now I'm going to work. So, on a Monday. I do the transfer the Thursday, sorry. I do the transfer the Thursday and I'm going to work the Friday, right? So, I never get to cash out anything, right? So, I say, all right, then Friday I'm work. One man say, go check the card. Just go in at the machine, check your card. And I did just that in the night, right? So I end up with check the card in the night, you know, guys. When we check the card, $399. I say, okay, something wrong here, so no. No, something wrong here, so I jump in on my email, same time. When I go in on my email, I see that there was a message, an email from NCB saying payment received. So I'm like, huh? Payment received for what? When I buy from NCB, what NCB ever sell? When I take from NCB, make NCB a charge me. Anyway, guys, me, me say, all right, appointment, same time. I go book an appointment for go to the bank. 
anyway the earliest appointment i saw was the wednesday the other wednesday so remember i checked the account the friday night and it wasn't there so i'm gonna get the appointment until wednesday but then the wednesday i would have to work so i couldn't go on the wednesday so i have to book the appointment for today which is thursday right anyway i ended up going to linstead on monday as you guys saw in the last vlog i ended up going to linstead so remember me telling us eh, i didn't have an, in, an appointment with ncb but me have an appointment with ncb if y'all know what i mean yeah me go down to go tell them i look a white lie say <laughs> because me eager for know where my money gone so me tell them to say all right i'm leaving the island on wednesday only what them know i only what some them officials must say that with <laughs> but me tell them i'm leaving the island on wednesday so therefore i would not be available for the appointment on thursday so them say all right then um you would have to come early in the morning like about 8 30 in the morning so if you can come back tomorrow morning which is the tuesday then we will do try to see what we can start out for you apparently i came home the monday night and had to go to work so i could not make it in for the appointment i could not make it in for 8 30 tuesday morning because i worked monday night right so i'm sorry then i forgot just work with the appointment for today so me end up go to the bank today right so what am i gonna know and i explained to them that i had transferred five thousand dollars to my account to purchase something online i canceled that purchase so them they're supposed to charge me so they go on the account blah 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 whatever they see where they said that the 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 card was charged for three thousand whatever so they're saying that they don't see where the, the the funds was returned to the account so i must communicate with amazon customer care and then um screenshot the conversation basically and take it into them for proof right anyway about the twenty five thousand dollar no I ended up sending an email because me couldn't wait until we had Thursday today for know where my $25,000 gone. So the email that I got saying that um, if you do not recognize this charge, then call them or email them or whatever. So I ended up emailing them explaining that, listen, I transferred $25,000 to my account and it's not there. I may not want NCB anything. So anyway... Um, I wouldn't get it back. I end up getting it back. They say I should confirm the, the method of 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 um deposit or something like that that I use. So I tell them say yeah, it's online transfer. So I ended up getting it back. Today's what Thursday? Yesterday. Yeah. I yesterday I ended up getting it back. Um me actually and I by accident me actually realized, you know, because I go for go withdraw some money and uh, me never realized uh, at the NCB card, me actually pushing at the machine. <laughs> so when it come out now and miss the balance, me say, huh? Me say, what? Me say, me get back my money. Me get back the 25000 So, me ended up getting back the $25,000, but me not get back the $5,000. They might tell me if I could contact Amazon, crap, crap, whatever. So now, me have to go and try contacting Amazon customer care. And try to get back my total dollar. So now I can't even buy the things online because it, they would have reached too late for the graduation. So I have to go buy them for a million dollar in Jamaica. Because I don't know, say, the things where you see online for $20 in a Jamaica are 50 grand for them. So now I have to go buy whatever I can get in a Jamaica you know, right now. That is another thing, too, you know, guys. I know so that I kind of stray from the old topic right now, but that is another thing where me realize say the, the the jamaican retailers and vendors and the whole all of them they might go suffer because of this because when you can get the thing online for 20 dollar and you pay for, for shipping and it come and you go pay your money for kaliki you you ended up you end up paying probably like calculating it in jamaican dollars you'd have probably pay like one ten thousand dollar and when you see it down there, so I sell. You go down there, they might tell us a thirty-five thousand dollar. They might go lose. People, me not go go down there, so go buy it for thirty-five thousand dollar when we can buy it and get the same exact thing and get it for ten thousand dollar. So I that I go on right now, as far as me see it, I that I go on right now. 
but some of, some of them them can do better with the prices honestly they can do better because if me come to you and say all right how much for the blows here and you tell me say two thousand dollar for the blows and me say all right i have fifteen hundred dollar me every night i say give me it man and if you have 12 give me obviously you're, you're triple you're probably triple your price because if you are selling for two and then you're going to take a five hundred dollars till i get profit or five you could have do better with the price from good morning although me know it's enough of them them hike up the price for when you ball it down then come down to the right price that's how them do things mm -hmm. that's how them do but i'm not straight gonna further guys anyway me get back the twenty five thousand dollars from ncb again for second time since year I get back my $25,000, but I still want my $5,000. I still want it. I still need it. I don't have money like that. I don't have money. I need my $5,000. So, any, oh, we go? Yeah, me and them are going to have you out because I want my five grand. But that's the update, guys. And as, as I said, I was going to close my NCB account. I don't really want to close it yet until I get another account. You see, if VM did have like a debit visa or debit mastercard or whatever made i just stick with um vm like that just do everything here so but the fact that they don't have a visa or master whatever card them just a roll out the the credit card i think well i researched it and they said that they're working on the visa debit so hopefully them roll it out soon but in the meantime, may I just go and keep the, the, the NCB account open so that we can um, do that something there. So that we can, by the time I open the other account, probably we'll go to Scotia. But you know, so I could find my great, 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 great grandmother, grandparents' birth certificate for go open one account right now that we can take. But in the meantime, well, may I try to get that sorted out? May I go just go and roll with them? Anyway, guys, um, just last night after making the video, I got another email from them saying that it apparently it was a credit card charge, which the account has been closed for... I mean, I know when the, the account closed, but it was from like about 20, 2021, somewhere there, I think. I think it was from 2021, 2022. As I told you, I don't normally transfer funds to it like that. So apparently they took that for um, a credit card charge, but then when they realized that, okay, probably it was a system error on their end. So that's why they send it back to my card. I actually end up after paying to get a, a letter, a proof letter, I think. I don't remember exactly the name of it. Say. It's like a letter to prove that the account has been closed. And for that letter, I have to pay like $3,200 to get the letter. But may I go pay it because I want that letter to prove that it has been closed. Because if them charge me again, if them charge me again, heaven help them. So that's just a quick update, guys. After making the video, I got that email, so I could not put this in the video. But that's the update, guys. So thanks for listening to me blabbering about my saga saga them all the time with this banking system. But I don't know, say so you go. So thanks for watching guys. See you in another video. Hopefully we can get to know a vlog soon. Other than that, I just some probably look a look of videos until then. But thanks for watching again guys. Peace out. Bye.